This is what an engineer's office looks like. These are the things that an engineer may have on their desk. This is Kelsey. She is an electrical power engineer. When asked what she likes most about her job, Kelsey said, I love the opportunity to be able to work, work you know, away from my desk. This is a hydro dam. It produces electricity. Kelsey's favourite cake is... Any cake is favourite cake, really. Yeah. Kelsey knows that she stands on the shoulders of giants. Yeah, yeah, I do. People like Hans Christian Ersted. The er is a Scandinavian vowel. It sounds like this. Er. Ersted was Danish, so that makes sense. On the 21st of April, 1820, during a lecture, Ersted made a discovery. When allowing electrical current to flow through a wire, the needle in a compass that was close to the wire started to move. Ersted found that a current produced a circular magnetic field as it flows through a wire, a phenomenon that could not be explained by the science of the time. It changed the course of research, physics, and indeed, the world. It's just, it's so special being able to see inside these machines because they're normally closed off. I mean, you get to look inside and see how it all works. This is a generator Kelsey is working on. You look at it and you say to yourself, OK, I wonder why they've done it like that, and I can sometimes actually figure out why they've done it the way they have, which is really cool. This is a hydroelectric dam. This is what it looks like inside the dam. This is where the generator lives. While Ersted's discovery was crucial for the generation of electricity from movement, it was the invention of another man that made all of this possible. Michael Faraday. <laughs> In 1821, after hearing that Ersted had made a compass change position using electricity, Faraday guessed it should be possible to use this phenomenon to create continuous motion. This is his rotating wire experiment. It proved that Faraday was right. It was also the world's first electric motor. Following this discovery, Faraday hypothesized that if electricity could generate motion, then maybe motion could generate electricity. His coil and magnet experiment confirmed this concept. After this demonstration, there have been countless others who followed along, improving the design and using it to benefit society. Kelsey is one of them. Thanks to Ersted and Faraday, and those who came after them. We now have many different ways of generating electricity in New Zealand. You've got hydropower, so you've got water coming down. So you've got wind power, it's all blowing through the turbine. You've got coal power, which is pretty much a big fire. The geothermal is actually taking the heat up out of the ground and using that in a turbine, which is pretty cool. Natural gas, you've got you know, flames in the fire. <laughs> all of these take kinetic energy to spin a turbine, which spins a generator to produce electricity. While Ersted and Faraday devoted their lives to feeding their hunger for knowledge, to constantly be amazed by the laws of nature, they did much more. They gave, constantly. And so we give back. We named streets, buildings, even satellites after them. Banknotes have their faces on them. Kelsey carries that torch and continues their legacy. We help build the basic necessities that people need to live. If you're in a hospital, uh, the equipment that's helping keep you alive, monitor your breathing, that was all designed by an engineer. Her work allows us to read at night, to keep warm in spite of cold, and to live good lives. <laughs>